All right, well, hey, physical science students, and welcome to this video lecture on the atom. Uh, today, you should have gone through uh, the FET simulation, building an atom, to kind of get uh, some background knowledge as to uh, what makes up an atom, what those subatomic particles actually mean in terms of atom identity, um, and some various other attributes of an atom. Now, what I really want to do in this video lecture is just formalize some of the things that you should have seen in that, um, in that simulation. Now, first things first, I just want us to all understand that the atom is the building block of all matter. Okay, we can't really get any simpler than an atom. Now, granted, the atom is made up of these things called subatomic particles, but we consider the atom to be the building block of all matter. Now, you saw some things today called subatomic particles. The first were protons. We had neutrons. And we had electrons. Now, I want us to be clear as to what these three things are. These are our subatomic particles. And they each have their own unique characteristics, okay? So protons, you should have seen today, they have a positive charge. Okay, protons have a positive charge. And they are located in the nucleus, and I'll get deeper into what, what the nucleus is in a second here. Um, neutrons, they have no charge, okay? They have no charge whatsoever. And they are also located in the nucleus. And our electrons, they have a negative charge. And they are located in these things called orbitals or shells. Okay, so today, um, when you were building your atom, you had a nucleus, and then you had these things outside of the nucleus. Wow, that is really ugly. You had these things outside of the nucleus called orbitals. Now, inside of our nucleus, we had protons. We had neutrons. And then on the outside, we had electrons. Okay, so this inner part of our atom, this inner part of the atom where our protons and neutrons are, are housed, um, this is called the nucleus. And then again, these rings on the outside, okay, these rings outside of our nucleus, in this type of model, um, in reality, um, our electrons don't perfectly sit on rings around the nucleus. However, in this model, uh, we say that our electrons are found on orbitals, okay? So there's a very basic breakdown of the atom, the subatomic particles within the atom. Now on the next slide, we're going to get deeper into what these subatomic particles can actually tell us. All right, so what can subatomic particles tell us? The first thing that you should have seen today well, one of the first things you should have seen today um, were these things called periodic blocks where you would see um, some symbol, A, and then you would see another uh, symbol up here. We'll call that B, C, and then D. Okay, now, very simply, A is just our element name or our element symbol, rather. Okay, so A is just our element symbol. Now, B, and actually, before we do B, I'm just going to go down to D. I think this progression makes a little bit more sense. So D is what we call our atomic number. Okay, D is our atomic number. And we determine the atomic number by the number of protons we have. Okay, number of protons we have. Now, another really important thing with atomic number is that that is the main uh, factor or the main determiner of what type of atom that actually is. So uh, what type of element that atom is actually a part of. So another really important note here is 
uh, identifies type of atom. Okay, so if I have a one here, well, that's going to tell me this is hydrogen. If I have a two here, that's going to be helium, and so on and so forth. Now, C, what color do I want to use for C? All right, C is our mass number, or some people call it the uh, atomic mass. And this is determined by the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. And now this is just my quick symbol here for protons. Here is my symbol for neutrons. Okay, so mass number, atomic mass, which we find in our periodic block here, um, that is found by understanding what the number of protons and number of neutrons is. And now I think maybe the most, the, the more, the most confusing one on this uh, periodic block, and that's not uh, D, this is B, we went in reverse order. B is our net charge. B, B is our net charge. And we figure out our net charge based on the number of protons and the number of electrons that we have, okay? So let's say that, um, let's say that in my, whatever atom we're dealing with, that I had 18 protons and I have 16 electrons. Okay, so really we just want to break this down into a math problem. We want to figure out based on this 18 protons and 16 electrons what our net charge is. Well, remember that protons give us a positive charge. So what that is then is it's just a positive 18. Now, adding to that, remember electrons give a negative charge. So we have 16 negative charges. So what we're going to be doing here we're going to be adding negative 16 to this positive 18 we got from our 18 protons. And if you just do some simple math there, we get a net charge for whatever uh, atom this is, or whatever element this is, of positive 2. Okay, so big takeaways in this video lecture. Uh, the atom is the simplest building block uh, for matter. However, it is broken up into different subatomic particles. We have, uh, well, the subatomic particles can tell us a lot of very important things about the identity um, of an atom. Okay, what, what does that atom actually make up? Uh, what, what element does that atom make up? And that's where we get into talking about these things, such as atomic number. Okay, atomic number is number of protons. Mass number, or atomic mass, the number of protons and number of neutrons. And then finally, our net charge, which we're taking a look at the number of protons and number of electrons that we have to determine what the overall charge is on that atom. So I hope this is helpful. I know this is a little bit longer than I promised, but uh, have a great night, physical science students.